Yeah, I ignore my messy hair today. It's not a filming day. And the reason, but tomorrow is a filming day. The reason I'm filming though, okay, let me explain something really quick. Hopefully that's somewhat better, but I don't think it is. We're just going to deal with it. The reason I'm filming it, not filming day, is usually I put down, um, like, I when I was creating my schedule, I chose Mondays, Tuesdays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and then I chose um, Fridays and Saturdays as filming days. Now, with that being said, the reason I decided not to make Sundays because I was in between doing like Saturdays or Sundays and Saturdays, I don't usually have dance, and, but Sunday I do, except for today, because they didn't do like the Sunday class, but I realized I constantly or lately I've been coming up with some really good song ideas and things and so I'm so I am like really at like today anyway they didn't do the Sunday class but lately, I've been coming up with really good, like, song ideas and things. And it's hard for me because I kind of just, like, come up with a song and then I fall in love with it, of a song idea. And then I'm like, well, I'm going to have to wait to do it because I'm currently working on another song that I also love. Because I'm slow with music sometimes. And... So today I wanted to do kind of a story time of some that like means a lot to me and I'm gonna work on a song just because I need to work on it like let me find okay there's my name but first story time so fun fact is my mom is an Abby my mom is not the type of mom that is like you're the best, you're amazing. Like, she's not that type of dance mom. She is an Abby. She is the, like, I, in ways, I won't call her, like, the crazy dance mom. But also, in a way, yes. Like, kind of, like, she's not crazy, like, the crazy dance mom. That is, like, oh, you have to dance. You have to do this and that and all of this. Like, she's not that type of mom. She kind of like the really over the top pushes me to the limit only if I want to do it sort of dance mom. She's basically an Abby, let me put, and I'm not talking like real life Abby, I'm talking TV Abby, but slightly different and a little bit tense. And she complains about, like, TV at me sometimes. I will be talking and she'll be like, and like, yeah, like, some of the stuff on TV is like, I, she'll say, like, oh, I'm, like, I wasn't a big fan of at me until I, like, kind of saw her. Which makes sense, because she won't, at that point, she only seen TV at me, like, dance moms at me. But no, my mom is not the type of mom. That tells me I'm the best. She's actually the opposite. She she does what I need. And I feel like everyone needs... Like, I feel like this is a good thing. And for so many people now, unless you're dealing with, like, mental health stuff. And you're looking down on yourself. Like, that situation. This is not good for you. But for me, anyway, this is what works. I do better. I, yes, I love it when... Like, really famous people or dance teachers and stuff. Um, or people tell me I did a really good job. 
but I don't like it handed to me. I'm not the type where, like, I run, like, I'm not the type where I like to, like, do a few, like, do a few things and, and then be told, oh, I'm the greatest. I like to put the work in because I'm never going to learn. And if I did a horrible job, I want you to tell me straight to my face. I don't want you to be rude about it, but, like, I don't want you, like, being rude and being like, oh, you did horrible, like, bad word or something like that. No. But I want you to tell it straight to my face, but not be rude. More like, oh, you, it wasn't your best job. But, go work on it and get better. Or, oh, this time it wasn't the a best thing, but it could be worse. Like, you know, I like you to put it in a nice way. And because then I learn from it. I learn from my mistakes. And I grow and I become a better dancer. And that's what my mom did. Like, and she complains about TV. She used to complain about TV at me. And then I'm like, you're kind of the same thing. Like, yes, she doesn't scream, like, bad words at me or anything, like, but she kind of... Right. We're just dealing with that, even though it is bugging me. I have an idea. Okay, we kind of... I thought that was going to fix the issue, it didn't, so we're just going to deal with it. But she's like, I, so, like, in a way, like, my mom is at me in so many ways. You anyway, like, like, it's really hard for me to get my mom to say, you did a really good job. Like, that's hard. Like, for me, when that happened, it's like, so exciting because, like, there's been times when dance teachers, like, professional dance teachers that work in the dance world, they've been doing this for, some of them for their whole life, some of them for most of their life, some of them have been doing it for years, and that's it, like, but they know what they're talking about, and, like, really professional people, and they'll tell me I did a really good job. Um, and they like working with me. And, like, then I'll get my mom's opinion on it. She was like, you were okay, but uh, you could do so much better. And, like, so for me, it's like, and I like that, though. Because I'm the type where I have to be knocked down. To build myself up. I can't be told I'm the greatest until I, like, I am the type where I would much rather be told, oh, straight to my face, that I wasn't that good. Because then I learned from it. It makes me a better dancer. But anyways, my mom is hard on me and, like, that. Uh, and, like, I, I mean, kind of, I have, like, my rules. That way I make people follow, which is, like, when I'm in dance, I only do this to my parents, and, it's, and like, anyone that's, like, bugging me, like, while I'm dancing, unless it's a dance teacher, which is, you don't talk rude about the teacher, or first up, no talking rude about the teacher, number one, I'm not, like, trying to hold my middle finger up, I'm showing you one finger, for number one. My second... Mm -mm. My second... Mm -mm. Is that you don't talk behind bad... Or you don't talk behind the teacher's back in a bad way. Like, I obviously, like, don't talk behind, like, my teacher's back all the time. And I'll be like... Oh, I love my teacher today. Or, oh, that was a really good class today. Like, dance class. But never bad. Like, it's always like, oh, I talk about the class and how the teacher did a really good job.
then and my third rule is that you don't talk to me when I'm in class. Or like and and like it's fine to like ask me a question every once in but for the most part you don't talk to me in class because that's when I'm in my zone. And this at one point this was a rule. It's not anymore and part of I this kind of is a rule that comes in and out. It depends on the person. Like my parents don't have this rule anymore. But we cert partly because they watch like they they watch me do these Zoom classes and they seem like other dancers on there plus us they like hear what the teachers are saying and stuff. So for them they know a little bit about it which that you don't correct me, you let the teacher correct me. And now I'm like if my parents see a mistake I'll let at them correct me part especially with my feet for ballet but I'm actually I came up with a new idea that I'm going to try to do if my parents will let me do it which is I'm going to try to move the in there's a table in the in, there's a coffee table in our living room that I'm going to try to move it, like, just to the side. It's on wheels and stuff just to the side. That way it works out a little bit better because, for me, you know, the reason is only for one class, though, like, only for ballet. And the reason I say that is I may or may not do that though, like, because, actually I'm not going to do that because I'm now realizing something which is, at first I was planning on doing that, and that because you can't see my feet on screen because the computer's on top of it, but now I'm realizing that I'm wearing point shoes. <laughs> So, like, I'm wearing point shoes, so I kind of can't, like, sickle my feet or, like, mess up my feet. Like, I can mess up the feet movement, but that one of the things that, like, it makes sense. Like, that's going to happen, considering we, only, we don't get a lot of time with, like, ballet. Like, we have to learn the combo. Like, what happens is that the teacher will give us the combo, like, on what we're doing with our feet. And then we do it, like, right after. We don't, like, we just do it right afterwards. And then she, like, lets us, like, watch and stuff. And she'll, like, I like, kind of tell us if, like, we're messing up. Like, I'm in... Hey, Sam. You want to come up here? Come on. Go follow his Instagram. Baby underscore Sammy underscore for life. And I think there might be another underscore. Or you can just search baby and Sammy for life. For life is one word though. <laughs> I love you. He's tired. So I'm just gonna let him take a nap if he wants. Here, yeah, gotta move. Here, here, I'll be nice. I'll, I'll give you a big set. Okay. I was gonna give you a whole section of the bed, Sam. But I guess you don't want it. I guess he's just gonna get there. And we're just going to work around him. Because he's not moving. And actually I might. Wait, he's moving. He's moving. Okay. 
Thank you, Sam. I was going to give you a bigger section, but uh, that's what you want, okay? But anyway, the other night, my mom, I'm going to get to the point where my mom basically, like, she'll tell me, like, she'll knock me down, but that's good. I learned from it, and it never bothered me. Bothered me. And when we're in class, she'll be like, like, there will be times every once in a while where I will be really tired, and, and then... I'll be really tired, and then they'll be like, okay, now we're doing, like, our splits and stuff, and I'll kind of cheat it. And I know this is bad. I actually kind of stopped doing that. I, like, the only thing I ever do that with is my splits every once in a while, and I always, like, go into my splits, and then I'll, like, hold it for, like, like a couple seconds, then I'll, like, kind of cheat it. And what I mean by Tina is I'll, like, kind of lean toward the side or something. Or I'll, like, kind of not, like, have my, like, like, flat perfectly on the ground. Or, like, I'll, like, kind of, like, do something to make it, like, slightly more comfortable and stuff. And, yeah. But I try not to ever do that. Only on days when I'm, like, really, really tired. And... Like, before, I, the first time I did it, it, I kind of like the first, I feel like I like the schedule a lot more than I had the other two schedules. The last schedule was pretty good. I enjoyed it. But, this one's my favorite schedule so far. For the main reason in that we get hip hop. You get, like, a lot of hip-hop. I love hip-hop. It's, like, my favorite thing ever. Oh, and by the way, for a while, I was really confused. Because, uh, to me, it always sounds like hip-hop. Um, and then... And, but every time I see anyone spell it, they spell it as hip-hop. And so I looked it up to see which one it is, and there is a difference basically meaning that uh, hip-hop is a style of dance, which is what I'm talking about, kind of. But hip-hop is a sound, it's like something to do with music, with like sound, with like a certain background sound of music or like something I don't even fully know. So, yeah. But anyways, anyway, like, my mom will get on me about mistakes and stuff. And, like, she pushes me, and that's great. And the reason I say she kind of, like, keeps at me, and we do kind of get in spats sometimes. Like, me and my mom, we try not to argue, but... Every once in a while, there's a spat that comes out. Like, we'll, like, kind of, like, disagree on something every once in a while. And then, like, or she'll say something that, like, she'll, like, she'll say something, like, I, I, she'll be like, okay, help me out of my chair or something. And I'll be like, first up, I'll, like, just tell her, I'll be like, I wait for that. Because, first up, there's a chance that she could fall. A pretty good chance. If she falls, if she falls, um, then, like, if she falls, I can't get her up. Like, that's a big situation. And second off, I can barely get her up out of her chair, like, I, I done it a couple of times, like, when my dad would be, like, getting lunch or something, and she'll need to use the restroom or something, and, but I can barely do it. It's not a good idea overall, and stuff, and so then she'll be like, like, I, I seen you do it a million times and stuff, or, like, something, like, well, like, get in spats. And stuff, and whenever we get in spats, she's like, now this is why you're not a very good dancer, because I, you don't, 
um, work at it or something like she does that and it only makes me better. I like when she does that because I'm never going to learn by being told I'm the greatest. I'm going to learn by cold hard truth and reality and if it's not the nicest, oh well. Um, it's the only way I'm going to learn. And that's how I, like, I'm, and I get so annoyed because so many times I'll, like, or sometimes I'll see, like, just, like, people who are dancers and stuff, like, on my Instagram or something, like, recommend it to me and stuff. And then they're like, oh, like, I, and parents will, like, brag and be like, oh, they're the greatest, and I'm like, they're not going to learn by being told they're the greatest. It, it doesn't matter what talent level you're at. Like, you're, yes, it does matter your talent level. But no matter what talent level you're at, you still shouldn't be super braggy about it. And you still shouldn't, like, I be okay with people being telling you that you're the greatest. Now, in the professional world, yes. Dance teachers and stuff, yes, but when your family is constantly bragging about you and hyping you up to be the best, when you go out and you, let's say you have a bad time, um, let's say you're in a competition, you made some mistakes and stuff, and you're told, oh, you're the greatest, when you don't win, it just sets you up for disappointment. You grow and you learn by being told truth, I would much rather, like, I, it drives me crazy, and I'm like, even though it's not my business, it's like, it bothers me when dancers are told they're the best, and they don't work hard at it, and they don't do anything to deserve it, and then they get told they're the best, and then it doesn't do anything for them, you're not helping them there. You're making it work because then they feel, oh, they're already good. They don't, they can stop training and be good. But the other night, point of the story anyway, the other night after Hip Hop class, which the first combo, I wasn't big into like the first combo too much because for some reason I felt like it wasn't me and I couldn't understand it. I kind of didn't understand the song. Much we had to use a clean version of the song, and I think that threw me off because I don't listen to music with bad words in it. And even if there's like a clean version of, even if there's a clean version of the song, I still won't listen to it. It becomes like I I just don't and stuff, and that. Like, so I think that just threw me off. Like, the whole routine just threw me off. But then the second routine, I loved. The second routine, I really enjoyed. And afterwards, my mom told me I was really good at hip-hop. Or, like, hip-hop and stuff. And I got really excited about that because that never happened. It never happened, and that sounds bad. And, and it, like, makes my mom come out as, like, oh, this horrible person. When she's not, she's only helping me and stuff. She doesn't like the amount of money that we spend on dance. But, yeah, like, considering that just this year, I'm, let me quickly do math. Oh, that's a lot of money. Just this year. I'm not, I'm scared to even say this in case my mom is watching this. In, um, if you are watching this, mom, please use that for five seconds. A thousand dollars. Okay, like. That's a lot of money that we spend on dance this year. Yeah, and the reason next year, it, I don't know about next year, but like, anyway, like, I, in fairness, guys, we're covered to the end of the year. And I feel bad because there were people, um, for me, there were people that actually, like, 
Well, actually, so far, I haven't seen anybody that's done, like, the first worldwide to, like, up to this worldwide, and they're still doing it. But anyway, like, there were people who did the first worldwide. We didn't, and we still got that amount of money. Like, that's insane. And we actually, not all of it was worldwide. Like, $100 was the two master classes, which we don't do anymore because we basically get access with the worldwide and stuff. So I'm going to work on this song a little bit, see what I have. Okay. I like have really mixed feelings on. I don't think I like it. Like, I generally don't like it. Like, okay, I'm starting from scratch. Luckily, it's not too much that I'm scratching. I don't like it one bit, though. I went over the song and I'm like, I like the concept of it, the lyrics, like, parts of it, like, I, the lyrics just don't make sense together, it just doesn't work, so I'm gonna get working, luckily I have a few ideas, but no idea for titles, and I'm annoyed because this is the fourth time that I had to redo it. The first one, okay, not the greatest. Second time, my heart wasn't fully in it. And then that time was, I just don't like it. Oh, I have an idea for a time. Scratch, I forgot the idea. For oh, wait. Loving the title. I'm going to do one more line.
I can't sing the song at all entitled Who Is She? And it kind of talks, I'm going to work more on this tomorrow, but it talks about, it's a really good song. So I really liked the song that JoJo came out with Gotta Get Back to That Girl. I love that song. So it kind of like made me start thinking about music that I want to post and music I like. And the song is really good. And it's called, um, wait, let me flip it. Who is she? And it kind of, like, the point of the song is, like, I'm saying goodbye to the old me. And now, who is she? Like, the me that I am now, who is she? Tomorrow I'll tell you more.